Okay. Um, well, I guess this time last week, second in the table, and then pretty much through no fault of your own, down to fifth now. Um, how does that affect the mood, the atmosphere around the place? Does it at all? Well, hopefully not, no. We, um, we, we didn't win at Swindon. We played particularly well. Um, people have got games to play and, and you know a couple have gone above us that's just a fact of life we've got to deal with and it's we've got 10 games now we said after Swindon a mini league of 10 games that's where we are we talked about it on Tuesday with the players um, but we'll just have a good training session today and we'll get back to work and um, you know, look forward to what's ahead of us we can't do anything about what's happened but we can certainly do something about what's about to happen over the next few weeks How many teams would you say are now in the mixer? Um, I think Swindon have probably have got one of the three top spots. I think it's probably between another seven or eight clubs there fighting for it, you know. And you know, one or two will fancy coming up with a late run. We've got a head start on some, and, and you know, we've just got to produce produce what what we've produced over the last two games. The results haven't been as good as we would have wanted, but the performances have been have been pretty good. Um, and if we play like that, you know, the results will come. Goal difference is, is all is, is pretty close as well, isn't yeah. it, between you all? Yeah. Does that affect how you prepare, how you no. how you approach matches? No, not at all. We try and win matches. We're trying to win every match. Um, you know, come the last game of the season, goal difference might be important, but it's important we keep clean sheets and it's important we score goals, and that's that's the way we play and that's what we try and set out to do. And we've got to keep more clean sheets and score more goals. And if we do that, we'll be all right. Thank you. Joe, just give us two minutes with you. Um, Gillingham are just outside the playoffs, um, but but pretty. I mean, they're yeah. very much in touch, aren't they? Yeah, they've just they've had some strange results. They've had some big scores, five fours, four threes. A lot of them, at, particularly at home, um, they beat us early in the season, so we know that they're about. They know they're a good side. They're a good, good manager. Um, a few injuries, a few suspensions, but they'll still come here and fancy their chances um, of, of beating us. And if they did that, then it would put them right in it. We've just got to make sure we we win, perform well, and, and, and keep that distance between between us and outside the the, the playoff zone, and, and just you know keep keep accumulating points to get us back into that top three. And, and that's the aim. Um, we, we know they're a good side, but uh, you know so. Uh, when you see those those sort of results, uh, does that make it more difficult for you to prepare because you know they 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 they. Are, they they seem a team of extremes almost. Yeah, it, it, sometimes. But they've, so they've had some strange results and then they've just gone and won four on the bounce with a, with an ending with a defeat last Saturday. They're, let's say they, you've got to be mindful of the opposition, of course, you have, and the players will know you know, what, what, we talk, we, what we tell them, what they see. But it's about us. It's about us now. We've got ten games, concentrate on ourselves, which we have done all season, focus on our jobs, the way we try and play our football. And, and if, we, if we do that to the best of our ability, we know that we know it'll take care of itself, and, and we have a great chance of, of succeeding. If you come back to that Swindon performance, you said afterwards how, how proud of the team you were. Yeah. Um, you seem to adopt a, a slightly different defensive approach or defensive lineup to that game. Was that a one-off, or is that a, a formation that you yeah, might try yeah. again? Yeah, it's a, a formation we might well try again. Yeah, it was. Um, I think it worked well. Sido, so Sido's a quality player, no matter where he plays. And, I specifically wanted it that game because I wanted him to mark Richie out of the game, and I think he, he did that. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result we needed. Um, but Luke Garbutt's you know, a big part of what we've done this season, and he'll, he comes back into the reckoning. No one's written off. No one's written out of, of, of the plans. Everybody knew. Everybody put in the right direction. Um, you know, we might we might change it. We might we'll, we'll see how training goes over the next couple of days. We know what we want to do. Um, just got one or two things just just to make sure we get right for Saturday. And uh, in, in terms of uh, the team and the squad, any injuries? Any no injuries, no. Um, had a good week this week. I've been able to had a clear week. We, we, you know, we've got three week, three games next week, uh, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, being some, being some stiff opposition that we, you know, we know about. So we've had a good week. We'll have a good day today and uh, just make sure we continue doing what we've been doing, just trying to keep the performances and collect the points at the same time. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. Well, what do you think one of the keys over these 10 games is going to be taking chances? Because you're certainly creating plenty yeah, of chances. Yeah, of course it is. That, that's the key in any, when you go on any run, of course it is. But, you know, we have we have faith in the boys that 
that you know that we'll score the goals. There's not many teams who scored more than us. And there's not many teams who conceded less than us in the league. So you know we, we haven't got to do anything drastically different. We've just got to. I think Marlon said you know keep our focus. That's that's all we've got to do. We've got to maintain our work rate, our ethic of of being a good team and having a great team spirit. And we've got to just perform, but also get results. And, and, and that that's that's more than that's a, a fact that we can can certainly do. The players are good enough and um, we've done it in the past and we'll, and we'll do it again. Would it be more worrying if you weren't creating chances? Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, we've created plenty of chances. You know, at Morecambe we could have been five up after 30 minutes. Uh, Saturday we've missed four or five really good opportunities that normally end up in the back of the net. So it, it's not a time to panic. It's not a time to do anything different to what we've been doing all season. And, you know, I'm confident that, you know, we'll all stick together. We're confident the results will We'll just pick up because we we keep working hard and, and keep trying to do what we do best. Yeah, uh, Paolo Di Canio said they were specifically trying to get crosses in. I mean, that, that, that hasn't been a weakness of yours throughout the season, but because of what happened at more can be probably sort of, is that something you've been yeah, working on possibly. trying to stop? Well, they got they got one cross in the score from it, you know, that, and that, that's fine. But you know, we 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 battered them. We we absolutely battered them. But it, they won the game, unfortunately. So you know, they've got the bragging rights and they've got the three points. But if we perform like that, then, then we'll we'll be fine. Yeah, Marlon said seven wins. He think he, he wants to, to sort of he thinks that will guarantee it. Is that something you're talking about? Ten wins will guarantee it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we we'll go for as many as we can, John. You know, you can't target games against tight sides at the bottom, and you pick up points. You know, against sides that's, you know draws or against sides. You can't do that. You know, Northampton and have proved that. You know, you can't you can't just set your targets and, and go for them. You know, every game is tough. Every game is difficult. Every game brings a different challenge. But we've just got to concentrate on ourselves. Like I said, do nothing different to what we've done all season. Realise us what's got us here, and if we, like I say, we, we, we meet the challenge head on, we're, we're looking forward to it. You know, it's it's a good place to be. This place at the moment. Yeah, there's not many players that aren't involved at the moment because we've got a couple of yep. lads out on loan, and yep. you know, probably Harry and Bags played Monday. Yep. And Bags even played Saturday, didn't he? When he came, he so did, yeah. Have you got any closer to bringing any extra bodies in? No, we've got a few crossed off the list. If that's any good to you. Um, <laughs> We've got a lists upon lists, you know, and we're working our way through. We're trying, we're trying to bring in something that's better than what we've got, um, and that's proving a little bit more difficult than, than than people would imagine. And everyone's after the same type. Everyone's after the same the same players. People are hanging on, and we're just we're just being patient with it, like we always do. Um, and whatever we bring in will be will be to benefit the the squad and the and the group and the club. And um, it'll happen. It's just. Taking a little bit more time than, than ideally we'd like. Yeah, when you're down at the bottom, desperate for points, you probably just want to get any, anyone yeah, in. But when you're at the exactly. top, you have to. You have it to has to be right. It, it has to be right. It has to be, you know, better than what we've got at least. You know, and, and at least going to make a difference to us. You know, we, we don't want to just bring the bodies in for the sake of it. They've got to be players that are, are going to add something to our to our unit. And um, we we are trying to be, we're trying to go as high as we can in terms of the quality that we're bringing in. So it's. We're not getting all the answers that we the right answers that we'd like all the time, but we keep asking. You know, all the people come onto the radar that we we you know we're, we're made aware of, and, and um, you know the next week or so, well, the next week will will tell us where we are. But we, we are we are looking to bring in to add to what we've got to make sure the group stays on their toes, make sure we keep that competition within the group. But so we're not going to panic into anything. Yeah, when it comes to penalties, do you just leave it to the players to pick who takes it, or do you? I do, take? yeah, yeah. I'm not a big one for you know. Daryl's the, been the regu regular penalty taker, and he's been on the pitch, and I fully expect him to step up back up to the mark on Saturday if if we're to get a penalty. You know, it's it's not something that I think the manager has a great deal with. I think it's about being confident, about wanting to take the penalty, and you know, we've got a number that do. We've just missed two on the two, you know two penalties now, so that's not particularly good, but. You have to trust your players, like we have done all season, and, and you know I'll, I'll back them all day long. Yeah, you mentioned Luke Garbutt. Um, he sort of came in, hadn't played any adult football before, played a lot of games. And how much do you think he'll benefit from having this little breather now? Yep, hopefully. If you know if he gets back in on Saturday, then you know, I expect him just to step back up to the mark. He's, I think he played something like 17, 18 games on the spin, um, and ju I just felt he needed to do it. I needed to do what I wanted to do with Sid against against you know the player who won the football league. Player, player league to reward for the for the season, and I thought he did a fantastic job. I could play Sido anyway, and watch this space. I might. Yeah, and just on the awards, I mean Marlon 
did very well to get nominated. To get nominated yeah, and it's a recognition for him that he's got his head down. He's you know he's come from a championship club. He's not moaned or or pulled faces. He's he's added a different side to his game. You know we've worked hard with him, but he, he's got to take the credit for that. For for one, his attitude when he came in at the start of pre-season was unbelievable, and he's you know along with a number of others have, have really taken on board what we're trying to do and and, and more than embraced it. You know, and he's a massive part of our dressing room. He's a massive player for us, um, and, and well done to him for, for you know, even being a, a nominated with the likes of Richie Barnett and, you know, and Marlon himself. Yeah, on, on Sido when he came in, he, he he claimed that he could play anywhere, didn't he? And you, but we've only really seen him in the fullback position. You've just been thinking he? about that, haven't we? Well, yeah, uh, Sido up front that, or Sido yeah. on the wing. I mean, can he, can, he, he can he do a job anywhere? I'm sure he you? could. He, I think you've only got to see the quality that he has. He's he's fantastic and. Um, Keith, Keith came in the other day against Swindon was excellent, and it just gives you another option if you know if we need to. But he's been predominantly at right back, occasionally at left back, and uh, you know I'm sure he'll, he'll tell us he can play anywhere. Yeah, there's some untapped talent down there, isn't there? As you know from yeah, the there is. Yeah, sometimes you've got to pay for it, yeah. um, yeah, and it's probably going to cost you more money than it is for for a, a, a proven league player sometimes. But you know, sido has been a great find for us, as has, as has Mo. You know, as have you know, a number of players this season. Yeah.